Hey guys, uh, you know me as Stein and as Naraku. There's no go there's there's no go. There's not gonna be a face cam for this game, but I'm going to show you this one here. Whoop, sorry, not that one. This one came with this one. Uh, Dead Time Stories. There's not like <clears throat> there's not any actual playthroughs for this game. I don't know why, <laughs> but every time you look up Dead Time Stories on YouTube, there's just a animated series there. So, here we go. I did play through this once, but I cheated. <laughs> I used a walkthrough. I'm not going to use a walkthrough this time, so I have to figure it out again. Also, in case you're wondering, Voodoo Chronicles is the same type of setup, and it's just like a click and play type of thing. I don't know how to describe it. Ah, I've been expecting you. I'm Edward Blackgate. Come inside, friend, and welcome. This haven of the dead is named Everlasting Life. You might call it my masterpiece. I have planned every statue, every flower, every grave. Those interred here have a story to tell, a peculiar story, one in a million. Take Jessie Bodine, a voodoo queen from Nolens. She was an enterprising woman, and she might have prospered if she had stuck to her own very unmagical principles. You can hear Jessie's story if you listen. Shh. The dead have the softest voices. I'm Jessie Bodine. I'd take you inside, but the spirits are jealous that someone wants to hear my story. You can cross them, though. Find my spell book. It has a spell to banish spirits. Hurry now. They'll only get stronger if you leave them be. Something about this red twine that seems important. I'd better hold on to it. Alright, so we still can't go in here. That house almost seems alive. Is there something, someone moving in there? We're gonna go that way. There's another mini game right here. Dried flowers, Jesse must have been quite the botanist. And there's this. Which. I 
identify flowers that we need. Flower book. Uh, drawer is locked. What is that handle? There's supposed to be a handle around here somewhere. Oh wait, there's the pitchfork. <laughs> Spent all that time doing nothing. Great, I have found a key. Alright, so... Oh look, scissors. I need those. Uh, there it is. Come on. Door is locked. Um... Key. There. All right. Now, what did it say in the in the other drawer? Go and me. Me. Open me. Look at that. Now we got a spell book. Ooh. Well, yeah, spell book. So we have the bottle, and then we have the salt, we have the red twine, and we need graveyard, ash, holy water, mint, clove, devil's shoestring, Solomon's seal, and envenomed apple. We can get the envenomed apple by doing this again. Because we have an apple. There you go. There it goes. And then what are these? Aha! Envenomed apple. That's it. This is where we do the spells. <laughs> we can't mix it because we don't have all the spells. All the ingredients rather. Watering can. And Solomon Seal. Scissors, you take the scissors, you cut the shoestring. Now, where's that nest? Cheat! Right there. I found double shoestring. I need for this spell. Mint and clove is the only graveyard ash and holy water. Great bleh. Graveyard ash and holy water is down here. Graveyard ash, holy water. said the graveyard ash and the holy water is here so what we do is you place all the things that you need for the spell whoops graveyard ash and then you stick it on here you do the same thing with the holy water and then voila 
smell appeals. Give me earth that bones litter. Holy liquid sweet and bitter. Taste of sea, then leaves of green. Nails of spice will next be given. Satan and, wi and wise one go head to head. First the white, then the red. Deadly fruit to top all that. Mixture ready, spell is set. Stir it thrice against the clock. Pour to vial and rope, to rope lock. So, okay. Give me earth that bones litter. That would be graveyard. Holy liquid sweet and bitter. That's holy water. Taste of sea, which is salt because seas are salty. Then leaves of green, which is this one, mint. Uh, nails of spice. I think that's this one. Yep, clove. Uh, Satan and wise one go head to head. Whoops. And then double she shrink. And then of course the poison apple. And you mix it. There you go. There, now it's done. You take this, you pour it in the bottle. And then you take the double shoestring. And you wrap it up. Oops. You take this and you wrap it up. I've created the Vanishing Spirits Amulet. Now I can enter the house and learn more of Jesse's story. That wasn't painful. Okay. So you take the bottle. There you go. Bam! Spirits are gone. You make that tea at midnight like I showed you, and you won't have no more gripe in that leg. I appreciate that, Miss Bodine. But you sure you can't do nothing for my poor niece Betsy? They sold her to that awful Lollerie house. I gave you a St. John protection route. Can't bring myself to take it to her. They say Delphine Lollerie? She eats human liver for breakfast. Wagon tongues. Every servant within a hundred miles knows she's evil. Don't know why someone ain't done something about that woman. Don't look at me. I don't go around cursing people. That's risky root work. It costs beaucoup. Oh, Betsy. Poor, poor Betsy. See that mirror near the windows? Something that happened right here in this room is trapped in there. The spirits are blocking that glass. But listen now. You cast daylight on the mirror and they'll flee for sure. Daylight, remember. New spell has been added to your spell book. Click on the book to see it. Ooh, look at that. Graveyard grease cleaner. We need a wooden bowl. We have the lemon. Tears of saint, onion, flour, head of garlic, white pepper, and jug of joy. Sounds kinky. Supernatural dirt and grease require a supernatural cleaner. This mixture is an oily blue liquid with a piquant vinegar smell. Spiritual Residue left on metal, wood, or glass can be easily scrubbed away with this mixture and a bit of manual labor. Yeah, man, you will labor. I shouldn't be doing this. Uh, be sure to use a wooden bowl as the, this mixture will dissolve other types of containers. So let's take a look around. There's a padlock on here. Piano is locked. Bug. Oh, look. 
what is this? I forgot how to do this puzzle. <laughs> Two. Two. Oops, wrong letter. Two. Reveal. Light a spark to reveal my fate. There must be something around that I need to light. There's a needle in that cup. Ouch! But I can't put my fingers in there. The tea is scolding hot. Alright. So let's go. There's the window we need to clean off. Let's go in the kitchen. There's a book! Well, there's a wick. Okay. And... There's a bowl! So we got our bowl. We got a wick. There's this. It's a water pump, but the handle is missing. Uh, I can't, can't light the lantern until it's functional. There are pieces missing. Well, obviously, the wick goes the candle. The thing doesn't have any oil. Okay, so we go here. Minigame! Jack! This jug might be useful. Ugh, <laughs> oh, pardon me. Uh, let's go to the bedroom. There's a book, music box, and there's a key. Can you guess where the key goes? It goes in the, uh, whatchamajigger. There's a valve on the side of this saint. What go- what goes there? Um, I can't do that right now. There's no mini game. Okay, I guess I can just use the hint for that one. There it is, staring me in the face again. This perfume bottle pump might be useful. Okay, we still can't do this because we need something to get the tears. Needle. Oh, pump handle. That's what we need too. We need a pump handle. Okay, anything else in this room? Oh. Empty vial. There we go. Now I can do it. 
Tom. And gathering the tears. Okay, looks like we got enough tears. This key goes in here. Voila! Matches. I didn't see that. I'm gonna skip this because my memory is crap. Basically, the only what you do is you just follow the notes. Obviously, I can't follow notes very well, as you could tell. So when this says skip puzzle and the bar is all the way up, up here, which you can't see, apparently. There. This little bar here. When it says that the yellow is right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip it. And voila! White pepper. Now we go back into the kitchen. We have a water pump handle. Uh, this jug gets placed here. And we pump the handle. Now you take the water. Uh, it doesn't have any oil. That's where it is. Uh, let's see. Onion flour. Mmm, look at that. So, where's that onion flour? There it is. Right here. that I found it. You have picked an, picked up an item that may be useful later. Okay, look, there's another mini game. A uh, can of oil is the most important one in here. Where is that can of oil? I know I saw it. Ah, there it is. Just need a cork. Probably staring me right in the face. There it is. It was in my face. Great! I have found a can of oil. Now, what am I missing? Head of garlic. That's the only thing left. I don't need the dried flowers. Exactly what I need. So we take the oil, fill the oil. Okay. So we take the matches. We go. Bam! Cutscene. A vision overtakes you. You see. There it is. Head of garlic. My house shook enough that the garlic ended up on the floor. I should probably pick that up. There we go. We leave the house. We go in here. 
Oh, voila! Make a bowl in the center. Take this. Take this. Garlic. Lemon. Okay, so it says, first the water fresh from the vault, from the vault, flavor it with martyr salt, vampire's bane, powder pale, add flowery fluff, puff, then sour the tail, mix it, mix it, widdershins go, pour it a bowl and make it so. Okay, so, fresh water from the vault. Martyrs, pepper, uh, salt. Nope, sorry. Uh, Vampire's Bane, Powder Pale, add Flowery Puff, then Sour the Tail. particular. Yeah. Oops. That's it. The grease cleaning mixture. Let me go back. and repeat. There, it's finally clean. Is you Miss Bodine? It says so on the house, don't it? What you want? Speak up now. My mistress, Mrs. Lalaurie, she said to come right away. Delphine, la Larry? Yes, ma'am. You better hurry right now. And what if I'm busy? Oh, no, please. If I don't fetch you, like she said, I'll be in terrible trouble. Hush, child. I suppose she has business she wants done. Well, money is money. I'll get my wrap. Thank you, Miss Bodine. 